Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Max Forsey, and as you know, I'm experimenting on how to build a lifestyle that suits me. And one application that's been helping me do that is called Obsidian. It is a great note-taking application that allows me to do some text analysis that I haven't been able to find in other applications. So that means when I'm reading books, articles, accounts, I can start making comparisons among them and start finding out the actual principles that are inside those books and build up some building blocks instead of just consuming that information and then forgetting it the next week, which uh, has been a big problem for me when I read a, a self-help book or any type of book, I end up forgetting it a few, few weeks later. So this application has really helped me. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an example of some analysis that I've done with this application. It will be analysis of religious texts, so if that's something you're not too interested in, just make sure to focus on the tools or the actual qualities of the application. I'm focusing on the first vision and all the accounts that came from that, um, including the four accounts from Joseph Smith, the five accounts from uh, all the secondary account, all the secondary sources, and then all the common themes that I found in them. So it looks really simple right here, just looking at it, it looks really nice and beautiful. Uh, it gets a little bit more complicated underneath the hood, and I kind of want to show you and take you through what I've learned by comparing all the text between all of these. So we'll jump first into um, um, the 1832 account. So as you can see, what I did is I went through each of the accounts. So I've read these a lot, and I'm looking for specific themes. So everything um, that is highlighted orange ends up having a specific common theme. So the reading of the scriptures here. And then we have, again, the reading of the scriptures, so big emphasis in this uh, account. And then prayer and other things that have been mentioned throughout the account. So as you can see, I have some sort of link that's um, connecting it to a specific common theme. And I did that for also um, the secondary account. So I've read through all of these, looked for all of these themes. So I've read <laughs> these accounts at least, at least the amount of times that the common themes are here. <clears throat> and kind of showing you a common theme here, like what it looks like is it takes all of the um, times that I found a reading of the scriptures and puts them into the quotes. So if I could say, okay, well, what's, what's it look like for Joseph Smith to be reading the scriptures and how did it really impact the first vision? I can go specifically to that common theme now and read through uh, what was important to him. So, of course, as you guys know, James 1.5 comes up a good amount of times. And uh, it's just kind of cool to see how it talks about James and what, what the result of that was. And then how in the beginning it just says that he's searching the scriptures and um, how he learns that um, there's no true church on the earth today. Now, the really cool part comes into is that, so kind of get into the complexity Right now, all I have is these links that just are connected to each other, and I can get a good view of the common themes, but the really cool part comes when I open up the graph view in this application. So, <clears throat> looking at this, this is, it may not look like it, but this is the same thing that we were looking at before. So let me move this so you get a good view of it. I'm gonna pull it over here. So, as you can see, um, we were on the first wiki starter page, um, so that's colored in blue, and it is showing all the connections to the common themes, which are pink, the secondary accounts, which are green, and the primary accounts, which are orange. So that gives a little bit of context of understanding. So when you're looking at this, the green are the secondary accounts, the pink are the common themes, and the orange are the primary accounts. Now the cool thing about this is when you start looking at the specific pink common themes. Now this is where the important part comes in. So something like prayer, as you can see, is connected to, if you count up the greens, one, two, three, four, five, and you count up the oranges, one, two, three, four, it's connected to all of the sources. That means that prayer is one of the most important themes that comes across in, um, in all of these accounts. Now, if you come over to something like the anger of the Lord, that note is a lot smaller. And you can see that the anger of the Lord is only connected to the 1832 account. So you can see that prayer has a higher precedence in the first vision than the anger of the Lord of him being mad that um, the apostasy happened or you know, something along those lines. Now, um, I've taken into account that uh, the best thing I can do is find out all the common sources, like what, what themes stood out the most. 
So if I come over here to all sources, it shows that the four things that were in all of the accounts were prayer, the appearance of Jesus Christ, the reading of scriptures, and then different religions. Now, I love that simplicity that um, I've been able to discover to learn that the primary answers are still the things that stand out the most in these, um, in these accounts and to see that um, Jesus Christ and prayer and reading the scriptures and then uh, is the most important thing and the other thing I learned is also that being involved with different religions and just being curious and you know learning from other faiths is just as important and the fact that it was mentioned in all of these accounts. So that is my project. I hope you guys learned a lot from this or at least kind of had an idea of what this is. So thank you for watching.